Breaking news here on Martin Lucas Investor, FFIE, Faraday Future Intelligent. Look at this, up 1,200%. It was a million-dollar company. That's all it was. You could buy the entire company two days ago for a million dollars. Now, it's obviously 12 million dollars all in one day. Why? Well, there's been rumors flying around and I have not been able to prove it, so I'm not going to confirm it, uh, that Nancy Pelosi was buying the stock. I've not uh, seen evidence of that. Even though some people have suggested it, I have not seen any evidence of that. Thank you, Leah, for my coffee. So I can't report on that. However, I can share some information that is factual, that has actually happened and is it currently happening as well. So uh, as you know, the last couple of days has been a resurgence of uh, Roaring Kitty. He's back and we've got meme stocks exploding, all kinds of stuff. But uh, I'm going to share with you what actually is happening with the stock. Here is the news. We're going to come on to that in a second. But let me just show you the value of Faraday. There is no value. Profitability, 15. It makes no money whatsoever. Profitability score, everything is negative on this company. Uh, negative operating income, negative net income, negative ROE, negative ROIC, 15 profitability. It doesn't get lower than that. It can't really go any lower than that. Uh, solvency, 26%. They're on the verge of bankruptcy. Absolutely. It's, it's absolutely no value whatsoever at the moment. It's not doing anything. But this is where it is. Obviously, we've got... Um, We've got uh, people buying rubbish again. Here it is, 85% uh, shorted. Apparently, according to one of my viewers, uh, one of my members, Craig here, he said it was shorted 100%. And that's the number that you look for for GameStop. Remember that happened last time. That's when GameStop exploded when it got to 100%. Uh, and uh, this was at 100%. It's now 85%. I, I, I can't confirm that, but that's what my member has said. 85.71%. Uh, so extremely, extremely shorted still at the moment. So there you go. And here's, here's my analysis on the stock. If you want to go and check it, this is on Alpha Spread, which is uh, provides, I, I, I do all my reviews there and they put all of my uh, reviews on their website. So go and check that out. But I'll give you now the news to back all this up. Shares of Faraday Future uh, look like a runaway train right now, literally 1,200%. At the time of writing, it's not worth anything at all, but people are wanting to buy it. Oh, Jay Long. Jay Long has become a member on Extra. Thank you so much indeed. Uh, let me have a quick look on Extra and we'll see that pop up. Uh, there you go. As a special guest, thank you so much. Jay Long has just, during the making of this video, has become a member on our uh, Extra channel. Thank you very much indeed. Let me come back to uh, this news here. Um, so shares of Faraday look like a runaway train right now. At the time of writing, Faraday is up 380%. Well, it's now 1,200%. Uh, when I started writing this, that number was close to 270. Faraday Future is clearly becoming a short squeeze candidate that investors are watching very closely. Much of today's price action has to do with similar moves in, in higher, short, highly shorted names and in originally beloved meme stocks. This is all thanks to a post on X by Keith Gill, known as Roaring Kitty, uh, one of the original Redditors behind the GameStop surge in 2021. Um, games, uh, GameStop surge in 2021. Um, GameStop and AMC Entertainment has seen huge gainers over the last two days. Uh, however, Faraday Future is not, tip not a typical meme stock, nor was it central in the 21 frenzy. No, it wasn't. I've mentioned this before. So what gives? Let's, uh, let's dive into why Faraday Future is flying high today. Uh, it really all boils down to Faraday Future's incredibly high short interest. According to data from Fintel, approximately 95% of FFI stock float is currently sold short. That doesn't leave many shares out there for investors to buy and sell allowing for major short-term price moves to take hold. Investors are clearly reminiscing on the early 2021 uh, period in which a range of completely uncorrelated stocks surged in a tandem on intense retail investor interest. Retail investors appear to back in earnest, posing problems uh, for, sh for short sellers in even some of the most under-the-radar names. 
uh, why anyone would short a stock, quite frankly, that was at two cents. I am beyond but uh, people are doing it and then all of a sudden you get a short squeeze, right? I don't understand it. I've never understood it, but there you go. It's important to consider that Faraday Future is in dire financial straits. It is. It's good as bankrupt. It's worth nothing at all. The company has moved to raise funding to stay afloat and recently had to avoid uh, eviction and it's Los Angeles headquarters for many investors. The writing is on the wall. For today, retail investors are in charge and FFIE stock is surging higher. This will be a fun company to watch. Um, now, probably what's, gonna, what's going to happen is, is if, if it carries on like this, all of a sudden, before you get chance to take your profit, and hopefully you will take your profit, the company will go, Go, hang on a minute, we've got some money. Let's dilute the stock. Let's raise some capital. So all of a sudden, they could dilute and uh, it goes straight back down again. I don't, Obviously, I understand it doesn't really affect you, blah, blah, blah. Your, your gain is your gain. But uh, if you're up today, 1,130 odd percent, I don't know why. I mean, obviously, it's still there. No one's selling it at the moment. It's just starting to fall over a little bit. But why not take your profit? I mean, you have made what you're going to make on the S&P, which is the 500 best companies in the world, in matter of minutes. Take your profit. Take your profit and run. Bearing in mind, and I've done this before, I've done checks on this before, and um, polls on it and all sorts. We've seen it happen that people take these huge, huge profits and then suddenly decide, well, they can do it again and they buy something else. Next time they might lose and now they can't pay the tax on the gains they've just made. Remember, if you've just bought this and you've sold it in minutes, which obviously you have, you've got massive capital gains tax and you have to pay it. There's no way around it. At the end of the year, your brokerage will report to the IRS or or whoever, inland revenue in the UK, and you've got to pay your tax. So if you've taken the profit and bet it, bet it again, and it hasn't come off, the chances are you haven't got any money now to pay your tax. So you've gone from making a huge gain to actually, to actually being in the hole, you can't pay your tax bill. Bear that in mind. If you have made this profit and you are selling, put 25% in your brokerage account, earn 5% and leave it there to be able to pay off your tax bill. Otherwise, you didn't make anything, you ended up losing. All right, click above my head, down below in the description, over here and over here. I won't buy it. I think it's crazy. I don't like that kind of stuff. Uh, manipulation, it's not what this channel is about. We're here to help and support people. We're here to bring you the news so you can decide what to do, but you'll never see me engage in these uh, type of things. I just hold the SNP so you know that my views and opinions are completely impartial, unbiased. I'm not here to pump and dump anything. I'm just here to be honest and bring you the facts you decide what to do with it. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.